In this video, we'll see how to draw cam profile in case of offset knife edge follower. So let us start with the problem statement over here. We have to draw a cam profile to operate the inline knife edge follower using following data. Outstroke with uniform velocity for 60 degree of cam rotation. There is no dual period between outstroke and return stroke. Then return stroke with uniform velocity for next 60 degree of cam rotation. Lift or stroke of the follower is 40 mm. Base circle radius is 43 mm. And now if there is an offset which is provided on the right hand side of 12.5 mm, then how you will draw the cam profile. So this is the important part in this particular case. So there are two cases. First one is that we will draw the inline knife edge follower the cam profile in case of in life inline knife edge follower and then for the offset follower. Now the data which is given over here is outstroke is 60 degree. There is no dwell between outstroke and return stroke. So return stroke is 60 degree. Outstroke dwell is zero. Then return dwell will be 360 minus summation of this particular. But this is of no use for us while drawing the displacement as well as for the cam profile. Lift or stroke of the follower is 40 mm or 4 cm. Minimum radius or base circle radius is 43 mm and offset of 12.5 mm is provided on the right hand side. Now let us choose the scale for this. So on x axis we are having 1 cm is equal to 10 degree of cam rotation. On y axis we are having 1 cm is equal to 10 mm of lift or stroke of the follower. Now as the outstroke is given as 60 degree, 60 divided by the scale that we have chosen is 10. So 60 divided by 10 that is 6 cm. So we are going to draw outstroke with 6 cm on the displacement diagram. Similarly return stroke also of 60 divided by 10 that is 6 cm. And lift or height of the follower is 40 mm on y axis. So 40 divided by scale is 10 mm. So 40 divided by 10 that is 4 cm on y axis. Now let us start with our displacement diagram. So first we will draw 6 cm length and immediately 6 cm length for the return stroke and remaining is a return dwell which is of no use. Then we will divide this outstroke into 6 equal parts as shown over here and return stroke also in the 6 equal part. The lift or height of the follower is 4 cm as shown in the diagram. So vertical height is of 4 cm. Now outstroke is taking place with the uniform velocity. So we have to draw this diagonal and return stroke is also of the uniform velocity. So mark the various parts which we have made. So we have divided outstroke into six equal parts. Similarly return stroke also into six equal parts. Now the vertical lines they will intersect at A, B, C, D, E and F and so on. So vertical line from 1 will intersect this red line at A, 2 will intersect this particular uniform velocity curve at point B, 3 will be intersecting at point C and so on. So all these distances that is 1A, 2B, 3C, 4D, 5E, 6F, 7G, 8H, 9I, 10J, 11K, all these particular distances they are important for us from drawing the cam profile point of view. So let us start with our first part that is the first case that is the inline knife edge follower. So we will draw the center line as indicated over here then the minimum radius of 43 mm or 4.3 cm. Now the outstroke is of 60 degree and it is converted into 6 part on the displacement diagram. So 60 divided by 6 so 10 degree. So we will mark the 10 degree will divide the outstroke of 60 degree into 6 parts that is 10 degree each. Similarly return stroke is also of 60 degree so 60 divided by 6 that is 10 degree. So total is 120 degree that is 12 equal parts we have to make. So as you can see we have done the 12 equal parts of 10 degree each 60 degree 60 degree for outstroke and 60 degree for the return stroke. Now we have to transfer these distances 1a, 2b. So as you can see this is 1a, this is 2b, 3c. You can see these red lines which are appearing over here. Major this 4d, 5e, 6f. Similarly 7g, 8h, 
9i, 10j and 11k and transform these particular lines or distances. So 1a distance is transferred over here on the first line as you can see. Similarly 2b is transferred over here, 3c, 4d, 5e, 6f, then 6f, 7g, 8k, sorry 8h, 9i, 10j and 11k all these distances they are transferred over here and these are nothing but our a b c d e f g and then we have to draw a smooth curve passing through this so this is nothing but our cam profile in case of the inline knife edge follower now for the offset follower we have to be very careful first we'll draw the base circle of 43 mm or 4.3 centimeter then there is a offset of 12.5 centimeter which is provided on the right hand side so draw a vertical line as you can see wherever it cuts the base circle from that particular point you have to join it with the center of this particular base circle construct a knife edge over here along with the guides now this is the knife edge with guides knife edge follower with the guides then this is the reference from which we have to mark the angles up till now we are marking the angles from this particular vertical center line this is the base circle radius of 43 mm or 4.3 centimeter and this is the offset circle of 12.5 mm or 1.25 centimeter now we have to mark the angles from this so first one is 60 degree divided by 6 that is 10 degree so we'll divide this 60 degree into 6 part that of 10 degree each similarly return stroke also of 60 degree divided by 6 that is we'll divide this 60 degree into 6 equal part of 10 degree so total will be 60 plus 60 that is 120 and 120 divided by 12 that is 10 degree so we'll divide this into 12 parts of 10 degree each so we'll divide this as you can see 60 first 60 degree for the outstroke and remaining for the return stroke now we'll mark this particular point so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this first six parts are for outstroke and remaining six parts from 7 to 12 they are for the return stroke now mark these points on the base circle and remove these particular lines and now the most important part we have to draw the tangent to the offset circle from this point one so see the tangents that we are drawing so we have to mark the tangent from the respective point one two three four five so we have to draw the tangent from these points to the circle that is this particular offset circle like this and then we have to transfer the distances that is 1a distance we have to transfer over here then 2b distance then 3c 4d 5e 6f 7g 8h 9i 10j and 11k all these distances now we have transferred over here so measure this distance 1a transfer it over here correct like that then 2b distance that also we have transferred and now draw a smooth curve passing through the points a b c d e f g up to k and this is the cam profile in case of the offset knife edge follower so in this way we can draw the cam profile in case of the offset follower thank you very much for watching